while we're in the land of the fab icons, uh, let's get extra value out of it. I want to use it as uh, the bullet points instead of the little black disc, uh, and also to separate the uh, words, the parts of the address. So if we look at our homepage at the moment, uh, you can see down here, these bullet points are just black dots. If we look at the address, we've got this little sunburst symbol here. So let's go back to our code for index. What is the story here? Uh, unordered list. Okay. Making a list. Uh, no style at all applied to an unordered list uh, means that the default will be uh, black circular disks uh, as bullet points. Okay, unordered means there's no rank, there's no one, two, three, or ABC. That would be an ordered list, which is an OL tag. So go and have a look at the UL tag and the OL tag uh, in W3 schools. Find out a bit more about them. Okay. You have to have uh, child tags inside an unordered or an ordered list. In this case, the li. Okay, double-ended tag. Each li, you should close it with a forward slash li like that. Okay, so I want to apply a style to each of them. It's not a c. It's sorry. It's not a HTML job. It's a CSS job. So it is fairly straightforward. And uh, that's what we're going to do here. And let me just take that and put it in here down at the bottom. What is this style all about? Now, let's think about this. Supposing we had an unordered list in the first section. Okay, what does hash section 2 mean? Well, what does hash mean? Yes, correct. It means an ID. So one of the sections is called ID equals section two. Let's come back. There we go there. Okay. So line 60, section ID equals section two. Uh, section ID equals section one. So what I'm going to do here just at the bottom of the first section is I am going to put in an unordered list. Okay. And gobbledygook basically and let's just copy that like that okay so i've got an extra uh, unordered list but it's not in section two it's in section one okay so this style here will not apply to it okay now you might remember i got all excited about h2 and h3 earlier on if the comma is in if the comma is not okay so the comma means h2 and h3 are being applied the style is being applied to both of them this time there's no comma there. Okay, so what line 56 means, this CSS selector means every unordered list inside hash section two, inside that tag with that ID. So let's apply it and let's think about it. Oh, we're back with the dots and the forward slash. Okay, so we're in the style sheet in the CSS folder. I want to use the fav icon, where is it? It's in the images subfolder. So I have to crawl, the style sheet has to crawl out of the styles folder or the CSS folder, whatever it's called. Yeah, CSS folder, and then crawl down into the images. So we have an up and down, dot, dot, forward slash for up, images forward slash for down, and then there's the fav icon. Okay, so URL. The quotation mark, I think, is not compulsory because, yeah, we didn't have it there in line two. Uh, up there maybe it is for list style image okay so this is a very long style property list style image notice with any style property that has more than one word there's no spaces in it and you must join the words with a hyphen okay otherwise you get a code a color change there yeah okay so keep that to hand Okay, so let's look at our web page and da da da. Okay, you can see the fav icon is in there. 
because these two unordered lists are inside the section whose ID is section two, whereas this poor misbegotten uh, unordered list uh, doesn't have the fab icons, okay, because it's not in section two. So before I go any further or farther, which is correct, I don't know. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, so now we've got the first half done. Okay, we have replaced the bullet points with our own image. Nice idea. Another little graphical way to tie all our web pages together. And we should find that that works on our other two pages as well. Okay, there we go. Right, next step is, okay, I have already made the changes there uh, in history, uh, culture, I think. I have the fav icon in for the address, but I don't have it on the home page. Okay, so what have we got to do? We have got to essentially go to the home page, go down to the address tag, and then we see all of these HTML special characters. So, Satanta comma. Let's think about what this all means. There's a space, okay? That will be displayed in the browser. Uh, if I did that, I would not be getting extra white space. Okay, if I want extra white space, I use that HTML special character. Ampersand, NB, non-breaking, SP, space semicolon notice uh sorry uh notice that it goes italicized when it's after the ampersand or the and symbol okay so we've got a space then we've got this sunburst and another two spaces there and so on so what i want to do is i want to replace that by the fav icon and this time i'm just using it as an image source is going to be equal to images forward slash fav icon dot ico and let's put in some alternate text something like that okay so let's do one see what it looks like there we go there okay now Okay, nothing is perfect in this world uh, or in the Ring of Golion, but it's as near as damn it for starting off, so we won't worry too much about it. Okay, if you notice the background color here does not match the background color of the fav icon. So you can see the fav icon is a square. Uh, there are more elaborate ways of getting the fav icon to be whatever shape you want, but um, if you're interested, go and find that out yourself. Let us finish off that then. So we will just copy that and basically replace other code. Now, what I want to show you a quick way to do uh, find and replace. Okay, I am going to copy that. Okay, because basically I want to replace all my sunburst special characters with that code. Okay, so how do we do that? You go to search. Uh, in Notepad++ and replace. Okay, so I'm going to find that and I'm going to replace it with that code there. Okay, and I'm going to hit replace all. And it tells me five occurrences were replaced. Okay, so that can be really handy if you have a systematic spelling mistake. If you have a web page, uh, let's say you're a great fan of Abraham Lincoln. Okay, and you spell Abraham, A-B-R-A-M. Uh, okay, and you've got Abraham Lincoln's name mentioned 100 times in the web page. Okay, you are not going to go around and try and correct it one at a time. You just go to uh, search, replace, type in A-B-R-A-M, and replace with uh, A-B-R-A-H-A-M. Okay, anyway, enough sermonizing. Let's get back to the web page and refresh and there we see that uh, this fav icon is being replaced everywhere another successful mission achieved